Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay. Yeah. Clear? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Now, uh, now, we go to the Selenium IDE. So, now, so far we are, talk, we are talking about this part. Okay. So, as I said, the base format, when we save the script, basically it will be saved in HTML format. Let me show it up. So, I am saying simply save test case. Observe here. Yeah. Three. Yeah. I'm saving in our folder. Observe here. Sample. This is Selenium IDE, right? So I'm saying saving with Selenium IDE underscore sample. I'm saving it. If you actually go to the place. As a selenium. Yeah. See here, just now I saved it, right? So it is saving in HTML format. Okay, the basic format of uh, script will be in HTML format. See here, once I open it, it is showing as the same command open, send the keys, click, click and wait, and the same thing, whatever we have uh, now, we have here. The same thing have been saved in a HTML format. Okay, so it's that's the reason it is you uh, know uh, it's uh, it's very fast and and it is uh, plugged into the Firefox. So that is another reason it will be fast. Now let me continue here. See here whenever uh, you know my mouse here, it will show the reference. Reference means it will talk about this function. Click and wait. You know what is this all function about? Okay, what you uh, know what we have to pass for this. Pass means as part of target what we have to uh, what we have to give, okay? So it will give the uh, it is something like help file, okay? This reference tab is something like help file, okay? And log. Then we execute this. See, um, let me run this test case. So in the background it is running. If you observe here, in running is I am again running this. So it is running in the background, okay? So here, uh, you know, it generates a log. Okay, so what it is performing uh, for each step, what it is doing. Okay, for each step, what it is doing, it will give you a log. Reference means it is a help file of this. Say here now the current line is open. Okay, open URL for open command. We have to pass this value. Okay, and UI element. This is a, some extra concept that they have given, uh, that they have provided in Selenium IDE. I will explain it a bit later, okay? I'll, this also I will explain a bit later, okay? Now these are something like, these are some tabs here, okay? And uh, this is some table format of our script, and the same thing can be viewable here, and this find button, okay? Now if you observe here, there is runs, failures. Now this is the test case that we have uh, saved here as of now. Observe here. This is the test case name. Okay. 
So for this test case, we actually run for one time, and uh, the, uh, there won't be any failure here. The, there were no there were uh, no failures here. Okay. So this particular talks about how many test cases are there, and uh, now how many runs for that and all. Okay. Now observe here. File. I'm saying new test case here. If you observe here, so there is the old version, older uh, script is there. Now you know uh, we have a new script. Okay. Just observe here. Again, I'm clicking on record button. Let me record uh, something on uh, Amazon. Yeah, let me stop the recording. Okay, this is another test case that I just recorded on Amazon.com. Okay, now let me save this. Save test case as. Now let me say IDE underscore Amazon. Okay, this also going to be saved as part of HTML5. It will be saved in a format HTML format. Okay, now if you observe here. This we did not run. That's the reason there is no color and all. If you if your Selenium IDE was this was in green color, right? It means it was it was executed here. But Selenium IDE this is in showing in normal uh, black color. It means we did not execute this. Okay, let me select this. See, I'm saying play current test case. So it is going to execute this script here. In the background, actually, it is executing the script. Let me run again. So it is opening Amazon and it has entered laptop. Let's click on that. Okay. So this also showing in green color. Okay. Now actually, if you observe here, this we call it as a test case. This we call it as a test case. When you observe here, play current test case. It means whatever the current test case is enabled, it is going to execute that. If you observe this, play enter test suite. It means it is going to execute these uh, these two test cases. Now observe here. I am saying this button. Play entire test suite. It is executing the Selenium IDE. Once that it has happened, it was a bit fast. Let me do one thing. If you observe here, there is uh, no there is a mode of let me close this. Yeah, there is uh, no uh, we can set the execution speed also here. Okay, let me change it a bit slow. It is in fast mode. That is the reason it is a bit fast. I know it is hard to understand. Now let me say play enter test suite here. I'm clicking on that. Observe here. It is opening Google and it is searching for automation testing. Okay, and it clicked on sign in. Now it is coming with uh, Amazon.com. It is searching for laptop. Okay, that is a bit slow execution. Okay, now if you observe here. We have test case, test case on uh, uh, Google.com, dot com, and another test case on Amazon, uh, Amazon website, right? So the collection of test cases can be called as test shoot. Okay, of course here in this case I have uh, you know created a test case on different uh, applications, but in general. I know collection of uh, test cases on the same application. Now we can create a test suite. Okay, test suite contains these two test cases. Now if you observe here, yeah. Now if you observe here, I'm going to file. Observe here. Uh, previously I was selecting save test case. Now I'm saying save test suite. Save test suite means it is going to save. These two test cases in a single format, in a single place. I'm going to save under B3 here. Okay, I'm saying uh, Selenium IDE underscore test suite. Okay, this collection of this two test cases have been saved as part of test suite. Okay, if you go here, you can observe here. This is a test suite. This is uh, saved in a different format. Okay, this can be opened in only in Selenium. Okay. 
Yeah. So far, actually, if you closely observe here, so far we have covered this part, this tabular format here, and this tabular format here, and we have put covered this. And uh, you know, we did not discuss UI element in rollup. Apart from this, if you observe here, you know, clear means in log there is something called clear. When you say clear means this information will be clear. One thing. And here we can you know we can you know find the information. See here, here we have log information, right? We can basically we can uh, we can filter it out. Okay, we can filter the debug information. Now we can filter. It. There is you know it listed out the debug information here. Okay. Now if you want the warnings, you can filter out with warnings. There is no warnings here. Okay. If you want errors, you can filter out with errors. Okay. By default, it will be in info mode. Okay. When you say clear, this information will be clear. Yeah. So, however, you know, if you observe here, we have covered this part. We have covered this part. We have covered this. Now, in this section, you now we know this. This is the recording button. Okay. Uh, we can click on this button to record. Okay. This is playing a current test case. This is playing the entire test suite. And this is the uh, setting of the speed. Okay, we have to discuss these four, of course. Okay, apart from this, any questions here? Any questions from uh, I know the sections that I have mentioned here? Any questions here? Yeah, Bala, uh, you know that debug and error. You know we will discuss in debug. Uh, you know here. Uh, in detail, we will discuss in coming uh, you know, session. I mean, in the Selenium ID itself, we will discuss that. Okay. Uh, recording is not executing, but if we replay, uh, that is called executing. Yes, replay is called as execution. Yes. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.